Hi, Tom King, and welcome everyone to the AFL Bar and Junior Netball Vote Counts, including the BFNL, GFNL, and Friday night competitions. Firstly, we acknowledge the traditional owners of country across Australia on which we play our great game and pay our respect to them, their culture, and elders past and present. On behalf of AFL Barwon, I'd like to thank all of our junior clubs, players, supporters, and caregivers. It's been a challenging year, and hopefully we still have two weeks of finals to go. Without all of you, our season wouldn't have been possible. Thank you also to AFL Barwon Commission staff and our valued partners, in particular Kempi, with their Read the Play program, the Geelong Advertiser, and Buckley's. Here's a video with some action shots of the season, which will be followed by Sophie Murley and Courtney Lino calling the vote counts. Please note that the votes don't co- in the rounds don't correlate correctly due to the COVID-19 washout rounds. Thanks for that, Kingy. Now on to the 13 under Division 2 votes. We'll take a quick look at the leaderboard leading into our second last round of the season. Up the top, we have Talia Smith on 21 votes from Geelong Amateur. From Drysdale, we have Heidi Connor on 18 and Philly Cookslin and Georgie Price on 15 votes leading into the second last round. First up, we have Port Arlington versus Queenscliff. One vote, Queenscliff. Maeve O'Lolan. Two votes, Queenscliff, Eloise Lim. Three votes, Queenscliff, Eva Fotius. Newcomb versus Drysdale. One vote, Drysdale, Grace Chapman. Two votes, Newcomb, Sienna Johnston. Three votes, Drysdale, Heidi Connor. Ocean Grove versus Geelong Amateurs. One vote, Ocean Grove, Grace McLean. Two votes, Geelong Amateur, Isabella Shanahan. Three votes, Ocean Grove. Abby Sanjeev. Anglesey versus Torquay. One vote, Torquay, Luella White. Two votes, Torquay, Val Coleman. Three votes, Torquay, Molly Coleman. Motawari versus Bowen Heads. One vote, Motawari, Ashley Jones. Two votes, Bowen Heads, Isla Cameron. Three votes, Motawari, Indiana Chilak. And the final round for the 13 and under division two season, we have Drysdale versus Ocean Grove. One vote, Ocean Grove, Abby Sanjeev. Two votes, Drysdale, Heidi Connor. Three votes, Ocean Grove, Holly Britt. Motawari versus Queenscliff. One vote, Queenscliff, Gemma Hocking. Two votes, Motawari, Haley Toole. Three votes, Motawari, Indiana Chilak. Torquay versus Port Arlington. One vote, Port Arlington, Chloe King. Two votes, Torquay, Chloe Renches. Three votes, Torquay, Madison Gavin. Anglesey versus Geelong Amateur. One vote, Geelong Amateur, Sasha Norton. Two votes, Anglesey, Scarlett Benny. Three votes, Geelong Amateur, Talia Smith. And as you can see, we have Tilia Smith finishing on 24 votes with Heidi Connor first close following on a 23 votes and Abby and Brooke Cook Salmon on 16 and 15 votes up the top. So going through our uh, club leaderboard, we have Willow, Emerald and Scarlett on seven votes from Anglesey. We have Georgie Sky, Georgie on 15 votes and Sky closely following on eight from Bowen Heads. Heidi Connor finishing the season on 23 votes and Grace Chapman closely followed at 11 votes from the Drysdale Football Netball Club. 
and Talia Smith, 24 votes, with Chloe Aspin on seven votes from Geelong Amateur. Uh, Hayley A. Tool on 15 votes from Drysdale, uh, from What a Worry Netball Club. And Cleo on 13 with Sienna Johnston on six and Piper Sutherland with five votes from Newcomb Netball Club. With Abby Sanjeev and Billy Cook finishing on 16 and 15 votes. And Alison Jolly and on five and Chloe King on three votes from Port Arlington. Aloise Lim and Eva Botius on five votes from Queenscliff. Luella White and Val Coleman closely following each other with 13 and 11 votes from Torquay Netball Club. Congratulations to our runner up, Heidi Connor from Drysdale, finishing on a total of 23 votes this season. And the winner of our league, Best and Fairest, for the 2021 season is Talia Smith from Geelong Amateur. Congratulations on a great season. Now on to our 13 and under Division One Best and Fairest votes. We'll take a quick look at the leaderboard. Looking at it, we have a close run with Simone Chong from Drysdale on 18 votes and Analia Hillier close following on 16 votes from Port Arlington. Phoebe Walker still in the race on 13 votes. Starting us off, we have Port Arlington versus Queenscliff. One vote, Port Arlington, Amelia Evans. Two votes, Queenscliff, Sienna Hocking. One, three votes, Port Arlington, Pippa Scutchings. Ocean Grove versus Geelong Amateur. One vote, Ocean Grove, B. Sampson. Two votes, Geelong Amateur, Bailey Shaw. Three votes, Ocean Grove, Ella Brown. In the final round for the 13 and under division one season, we have Torquay versus Port Arlington. One vote, Torquay, Tara Asbel. Two votes, Port Arlington, Phoebe Zahl. Three votes, Port Arlington, Analia Hillier. Drysdale versus Ocean Grove. One vote, Drysdale, Simone Chong. Two votes, Ocean Grove, Anika Willis. Three votes, Drysdale, Emma Duretic. We'll take a look at the leaderboard at the end. As you can see, we had a very tight race with Analia Hillier on 19, followed win a draw with Simone Chong on also finishing on 19 votes this season. We have Ella Brown finishing at 15 votes and Phoebe Walker close up there at 13 votes from Geelong Amateur. Uh, straight into our club by clubs, we have Sadie Launder finishing on six votes for Bowen Heads. We have Simone Chong, our best and fairest for the year on 19 votes from Drysdale Football Network Club. We have Phoebe Walker from Geelong Amateurs on 13 votes, followed by Bailey Shaw finishing on seven and Ruby Chapman at six votes. We have Ella Brown finishing on 15 votes for the season and Adele Mills on seven votes. We have Analia Hillier with 19 votes and Phoebe Zahl on 10 votes from Port Arlington. We have Scarlett Birrell on six votes and Alice Coffey on six votes as well from the Cooters Queenscliff Nipple Club. We have Tyra Asbell and Coco Haynes on six from Torquay. And congratulations to our best and fairest winners for the 13 and under Division One League and Analia Hillier from Port Arlington and Simone Chong from Drysdale Football Nipple Club. Congratulations on a great season. Now, taking a break from the vote counts, we're going to jump on to our uh, awards for the night. Starting us off, we'll have the 2021 15 and under BFNL representative team. These players were selected earlier this year to represent the Ballerine region at the 2021 Association Champs. Um, unfortunately, due to the code, just due to COVID, this tournament has not yet been able to go ahead. However, we're hopeful that this will hopefully take place in the next little while for our girls to so showcase their talents. 
So congratulations to the following for their dedication and hard work this year. Coaching this group of talented girls, we have Paula Birch from Ocean Grove. From Anglesey, we have Tay McGillivray and Charmaine Kennedy-Turner. From Drysdale, we'll have Willie Mills and Jade Wilson. From Ocean Grove, we have Sophia Dixon, Grace Borland, Ella McGlynn, and Chelsea Ferguson. And from Torquay, we have Bonnie Scabler and Riley Connor. Congratulations, girls. Now on to our 2021 Dow Primary Education Scholarship. Dow Australia has been a valued sponsor of the Ballerine Football Netball League since 1987. The purpose of this award is to encourage support and further education for development on the sport of netball for a primary age player within an affiliated club. The player for this award has shown maturity beyond her years on the netball court. She is enthusiastic about learning at training and is always eager to learn and develop her skills. She is a positive player on the junior court, always trying her best and supporting her teammates. She has demonstrated a positive attitude and as the youngest player on the team, she has far exceeded expectations and has shown herself to be a player to watch closely in the future. We are very excited to present the 2021 Dow Primary Education Scholarship Award to Heidi Connor from Drysdale Football Netball Club. Congratulations, Heidi. Our next award for the evening will be the Junior Trainee Umpire Award. This talented young umpire and netball player of Torquay Netball Club is um, a junior umpire that received her badge in 2018. This umpire has always been willing to help her club by umpiring practice matches and club, and club matches during selections. We, she has discovered and developed into a strong mature umpire leading a hand to clubs when needed. A true club person who umpires all her games with great confidence and control. We are delighted to present our 2021 Junior Trainee Umpire Award to Emily Briam from Talking Netball Club. We have no doubt Emily will be one of our future high achievers as she moves from strength to strength. Congratulations, Emily. The final award of the night we have is the Junior Coach Encouragement Award. The purpose of this award is to encourage, develop and support young aspiring junior coaches. Having coached a 15 and under Division 16 whilst playing in the under 19 division herself, we have chosen a junior coach who represents all the criteria needed to be awarded the 2021 Junior Coach Encouragement Award. This person continues to put her hand up on, to coach on a yearly basis, whether that's taking the reins herself or assisting someone else. Although she is softly spoken and a quiet personality, she's still able to gain the respect of, the play, of all her players by asserting herself when needed. She continually offers encouragement to her players and shares the knowledge of the game with them in any way which they are able to understand. We are thrilled to congratulate Chelsea Alma from Geelong Amateurs as the winner of our 2021 Junior Coach Encouragement Award. Congratulations, Chelsea. And congratulations to all our winners for our great performances this season. Now we'll jump straight into our 15 and under Division Two vote count, starting off with the second last round of the season. We'll take a quick look at the leaderboard. As you can see, another close race. We have Lucy Britton from, uh, from Queenscliff on 15 votes, closely followed by Kalani Boddington on 12 from Motawari and Grace Bolland on 12 as well, as well as Holly Bates, all following for the title for this year's Best and Best. So we'll jump into our second last game of the season. We have Ocean Grove versus Geelong Amateur. One vote, Ocean Grove. Poppy Hart, two votes, Ocean Grove, Amelia Stanick, three votes, Ocean Grove, Grace Bolland, Port Arlington versus Queenscliff, one vote, Port Arlington, Amelia Evans, two votes, Queenscliff, Olivia Remington, three votes, Queenscliff, Lucy Britton, Anglesey versus Torquay, one vote, Torquay, Jessica Buckley, Two votes, Anglesey, Rory Renches. Three votes, Torquay, Sarah McCassey. Model Worry versus Barwon Heads. One vote, Barwon Heads, Willow Thayer. Two votes, Model Worry, Lavinia Stokes. Three votes, Barwon Heads, Shani Paranavidana. And the final round of the season, we'll start with Torquay versus Port Arlington. One vote, Torquay. Estella Welch. Two votes, Torquay. Jessica Blackley. 
Three votes, Tolkien, Ruby, Healy. Anglesey versus Geelong Amateur. One vote, Anglesey, Rory Renches. Two votes, Anglesey, Jamuna Barlett. Three votes, Geelong Amateur, Bella Wright. Drysdale versus Ocean Grove. One vote, Drysdale, Gypsy Miller. Two votes, Ocean Grove, Chloe Splat. Three votes, Drysdale, Maya Rees. Motawari versus Queenscliff. One vote, Motawari, Kalani Boddington. Two votes, Queenscliff, Lucy Britton. Three votes, Motawari, Georgia Martinez. We'll take a final look at the leaderboard. We have Grace Britton on 20 votes from Cooters Queenscliff Netball Club. We have Grace Boland and Amelia Stanick both finishing at the top three with Grace finishing on 15 votes and Amelia on 13 votes. We have Kalani Boddington on 13 votes as well and Shani Paranavinada from Bowen Heads finishing on 12 votes. Well done to all the players that have polled votes this season. Now into our club by club starting at Anglesey we have Rory finishing on seven with Jamuna as well both on seven votes from Anglesey. We have Shani Paranavidana for 12 votes this season from Barwon Heads and Isabella G on 10. We have Gypsy Miller on 11 votes this season and Miller Gallup on 10 from Drysdale. We have Eva Miller on 6 and Charlotte Koch on 5 from Geelong Amateurs. We have Kalani Boddington from Motawari finishing on 13 votes. We have Grace Boland finishing on 15 votes and Amelia Stanick first closely following on 13 votes this season. We have Pippa Scutchings finishing the season on five votes from Port Arlington. We have Lucy Britton finishing on 20 votes from Queenscliff and Laura Hall on 11 votes this season from Queenscliff. We have Holly Bates on 12 votes and Ruby Healy and Sian Hughes on eight votes this season from Torquay. Congratulations to our 2021 15 and under Division Two Best and Fairest runner up, Grace Boland from Ocean Grove. And the winner of our league Best and Fairest for the 2021 season is Lucy Britton from Queenscliff, finishing the season very strongly. Um, congratulations on a great season, Lucy. Now on to our 15 and under Division 1 votes. As always, starting from the second last round of the season, we'll take a quick look at the leaderboard. We have Eden Henderson Craig on 22, Pippi McIntyre on 19, closely following, and Lucy Mills up there from Drysdale on 14 votes. For the second last round of the season, we have Port Arlington versus Queenscliff. One vote, Queenscliff, Eve Dalton. Two votes, Queenscliff, Eden Henderson Craig. Three votes, Queenscliff, Matilda Andrews. Anglesey versus Torquay. One vote, Torquay, Riley Connor. Two votes, Anglesey, Kate Stone. Three votes, Torquay, Monty Bridson. Geelong Amateur versus Ocean Grove. We have one vote Ocean, uh, for Geelong Amateur, Lucy Shaw. Two votes, Ocean Grove, Sophia Dixon. Three votes, Ocean Grove, Emily Quinton. And for the final round, we have Anglesey versus Geelong Amateur. One vote, Anglesey, Tane McGillivray. Two votes, Angle, uh, Geelong Amateur, Emily Laurie. Three votes, Geelong Amateur, Louise Shaw. Drysdale versus Ocean Grove. One vote, Ocean Grove, Lucy Sampson. Two votes, Drysdale, Lily Mills. Three votes, Drysdale, Ella Puttyfoot. Torquay versus Port Arlington. One vote, Torquay, Lainey Ducker. Two votes, Torquay, Bella O'Dwyer. Three votes, Torquay, Lenny Gilbert. 
And the final results for this season, we have Eden Henderson Craig finishing on 24 votes, Pippi McIntyre on 19 votes, Lily Mills on 16, and Louise Shaw finishing on 13 votes for the season. Congratulations to all the players that have polled this season for our 15 and under section one league best and fairest. Now to the club by clubs, we have Anglesey, Kate Stone finishing the season on nine votes. We have Pippi McIntyre on 19 votes from Barlin Head, closely followed by Natalie Villani on 10 votes for Barlin Heads. Lily Mills polling 16 votes and Ali Putty Foot on nine votes, followed by Madison Foot on nine votes as well. Louise Shaw on 13 votes with Zoe Shaw on six votes from Geelong Amateur. Lucy Sampson. Uh, on eight votes and Sophia Dixon on seven votes. Juliet Evans on six votes and Kobe McDonald on five votes for Port Arlington. Eden Henderson Craig on 24 votes, Matilda Andrews on six. Bella O'Dwyer on seven votes, Abby Hamel Ham Hanalone on six votes with Alani Dooker and Lenny Gilbert on six votes also. And congratulations to our runner-up, Pippi McIntyre from Barwon Heads, finishing up our runners-up for the season. And a congratulations to our league best and fairest for the 15 and under Division One season. We have Eden Henderson Craig from Queenscliff. Congratulations, Eden. Now on to our 17 and under Division Two vote count. We'll jump straight in. Starting at the second last round of the season, we'll take a look at the leaderboard. We have Clodagh Newton for, on 20 votes, Miller Bell on 18, Claudia on 16, and Sophie on 14 votes leading into our second last round of the season. Starting us off, we have Newcomb versus Drysdale. One vote, Newcomb, Amelia Clearsby. Two votes, Newcomb, Dakota Harrington. Three votes, Drysdale, Caitlin Duretic. Ocean Grove versus Geelong Amateurs. One vote, Ocean Grove. Tyler Foley. Two votes, Ocean Grove. Anika Bolt. Three votes, Geelong Amateur. Ruby Kennett. Model Warrior versus Barwon Heads. One vote, Barwon Heads. Indy Olchin. Two votes, Model Warrior. Cloda Newton. Three votes, Barwon Heads. Abby Dixon. Anglesey versus Torquay, one vote, Torquay, Madison Jones, two votes, Anglesey, Charmaine Kennedy Turner, three votes, Torquay, Doreen Reed. In the final round of the season, we have Anglesey versus Geelong Amateur, one vote, Anglesey, Rosalie Shaw, two votes, Geelong Amateur, Sydney Williams, three votes, Geelong Amateur, Henrietta Sargent. Barwon Heads versus Newcomb. We have one vote, Barwon Heads. Isabel Gee. Two votes, Newcomb. Ava Mahoney. Three votes, Barwon Heads. Natalie Villani. Drysdale versus Ocean Grove. One vote, Drysdale. Alla Puttyfoot. Two votes, Ocean Grove. Anika Bolt. Three votes, Ocean Grove. Laura Madoff. Model Warrior versus Queenscliff. One vote, Queenscliff. Claire Martin. Two votes, Model Warrior. Meg Hulan Han. Three votes, Model Warrior. Cloda Newton. Torquay versus Port Arlington. One vote, Torquay. Mackenzie Close. Two votes, Port Arlington. Bella McGrath. Three votes, Torquay. Grace O'Kane. Let's take a look at the final leaderboard for the 2021 Beer Fennell 17 and under Division Two season. We have Clodagh Newton on 25 votes for the season. We have Miller Bell from uh, on 18 votes over here. We have Claudia, Claudia from Geelong Amateurs on 16 and Sophie Potter on 14 votes from Torquay Football Netball Club. Going into the club by clubs, we have Rosalie Shaw finishing on nine votes for Anglesey. We have Abby Dixon finishing on 10 votes for Barwon Heads, closely followed by Natalie Villani on nine. 
We have Ella Puttyfoot finishing on 10 votes this season for Drysdale Netball Club. We have Claudia finishing on 16 votes for Geelong Amateur with Ruby Kent Kennett on 10 votes for Geelong Amateurs as well. We have Clodagh Newton finishing our season on 25 votes from Motawari. And Taylor Drake finishing the season on 13 votes with Dakota Harrington on five votes from Newcomb. And from Ocean Grove, we have Miller Bell finishing the season on 18 votes and Anika Bolt finishing on 10. Elizabeth Ryan polling 12 votes for Port Arlington Netball Club. We have Claire Martin on four with Olivia Gladman getting three votes for Queenscliff this season. Sophie, Sophie Potter on 14 votes and Ellie Gray polling 13 for Torquay this season. Congratulations to our runner-up, Miller Bell from Ocean Grove for our 17 and under Division Two Best and Fairest runner-up. And the winner of our league Best and Fairest for the 2021 season is Cloda Newton from Motawari. Congratulations on a great season, Cloda. For our final count of the night, we have the 17 and under Division One uh, season, as always starting with a look at the final leaderboard before looking at the second round, second last round of the season. We have Amelia Backer on 21 votes with Kyle Warren on 11 votes, closely following. Starting us off, we have Port Arlington versus Queenscliff. One vote, Port Arlington, Jamison Camilleri. Two votes, Queenscliff, Matilda Kidd. Three votes, Queenscliff, Amelia Backer. Ocean Grove versus Geelong Amateur. One vote, Geelong Amateur, Verity Stujewski. Two votes, Ocean Grove, Charlotte Targ. Three votes, Ocean Grove, Lexi Anand. And the final round of our season for the 17 and under Division One, we have Drysdale versus Ocean Grove. One vote, Drysdale, Rory, Andy Coate. Two votes, Ocean Grove, Ruby, Haddlebrand. Three votes, Drysdale, Taryn Hall. Torquay versus Port Arlington. One vote, Torquay, Stephanie Reed. Two votes, Port Arlington, Talai Mawai. Three votes, Port Arlington, Jamison Camilleri. Let's take a final look at the leaderboard for the 17 and under division one. We have Amelia Backer on 24 votes. Great season, Amelia, with Lexi from Ocean Grove finishing on 13 votes and Matilda Kidd on 12 votes from Queenscliff. Well done to all players who polled this season. Now we'll go into the club by clubs. We have Anna Hewitt on six votes from Barlin Heads. We have Lily Mills on five votes closely and in a tie with Rory Adico on five votes also from Drysdale. We have Kaya Werner from Geelong Amateurs on 11 votes. We have Lexi Anand polling 13 votes for Ocean Grove. We have Jamison Camilleri on 11 votes for Port Arlington with Davin Wicks on five. We have Amelia Backer, our best and fairest for the season on 24 votes from Queenscliff. We have Jade Bridson from uh, Torquay on nine votes and Grace Kira and Stephanie all polling six votes for Torquay. And congratulations to our runner up from Ocean Grove. We have Lexi Anand. And the winner of our league best and fairest for the 2021 season for our 17 and under division one league, we have Amelia Backer from Queenscliff Nepal Club. Congratulations on a great season, Amelia, with great votes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we really appreciate you taking the time to join us this evening. Congratulations to all our award winners. For those teams still in finals, we wish you the very best of luck and we can't wait to see you back out on the netball courts around the region before the year is out. If not, we look forward to seeing you all in 2022.